Jeff Bridges is a Hollywood veteran after all, so it might surprise you that his main residence is actually in Montana. While he spends most of his time there on his longtime ranch, he spent plenty of years over in California too. Both of his stunning properties there were actually in Montecito, California, one of which is a 20 acre vineyard and the other being a sprawling equestrian estate. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Jeff Bridges just might be one of the coolest down-to-earth actors on the planet and by all accounts he lives that way too. After starting his acting career as a child, Jeff would work steadily from the time he was two years old all the way up to his big break in The Last Picture Show, which was released in 1971. Of course, Jeff might be better known for his legendary performance as the dude in The Big Lebowski. Now, considering Jeff was practically raised on film and TV sets, it could be argued that he feels more at home in that type of environment than anywhere else. Soon after meeting the love of his life, Susan, in the mid-70s, he and his soon-to-be bride picked up themselves a ranch in Montana they still reside in to this day, a home that actually served as the setting to one of Jeff's older films, the not-so-popular Heaven's Gate. And while Jeff spends most of his free time living there, being the Hollywood mainstay that he is, he's also spent a large portion of every year in California, where he has owned two homes over the past few decades, more specifically in the town of Montecito. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment, and this one checking out where Jeff Bridges calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. In the early 90s, Jeff Bridges spent slightly under $7 million to buy the one-time former Montecito home of Grammy Award-winning musician Kenny Loggins. Known as Villa Santa Lucia, this 19.5-acre property centers on a Tuscan-inspired main house that was designed by Santa Barbara architect Barry Burkus and first built in 1988. With an exterior fronted by a stone-lined motor court, the home opens through a hand-carved front door that leads into a very formal entry hall lined with thick stone pillars and topped off with vaulted ceilings. Terracotta lines the main hallway that leads to a sunken living room which has been anchored by an eye-catching antique stone fireplace. Nearby French doors just off of the living room area open to a terrace with stunning ocean views. Then there's the dining room that features a coffered wood ceiling as well as more of those thick stone pillars. Also located within the more than 9,500 square feet in the main structure is a library that boasts rustic beams reclaimed from bridges out on the east coast. And this being the home of one of the most mellow dudes in the history of the planet, it does make sense that you will also find a meditation room that Jeff puts to good use on a very regular basis. In total, there's said to be six bedrooms and six and a half bathrooms, while the primary suite includes a stairwell that leads up to a secret third floor tower room. Outside of the main home on the property, it also includes a 1,800 square foot detached guest house, a guest cottage, and even a detached theater slash recording studio. The entire grounds are filled with mature oaks, olive trees, and Italian cypresses. There are also massive expanses of lawn and decking that surround a stone edge swimming pool. Elsewhere on the property are fruit orchards, vineyards, hiking trails, and a footbridge that crosses a running stream. Pretty much sounds like the perfect place to live, right? That must be why Jeff and Susan stayed here for so long. But in 2017, they'd finally list the estate for just under $30 million. They wouldn't quite get what they were looking for, but they did walk away with about $16 million more when they eventually found a buyer. Now that we've checked out one of Jeff's Montecito estates, let's see his most recent California home, a property that's also located in the city of Montecito. Man, the dude must love that place. The second estate that Jeff Bridges bought in Montecito is centered around a 100-year-old home built by noted architect James Osborne Craig. It's a stunning property that's surrounded by gardens, redwoods, oak groves, orchards, a guest house, and a pool house. It even includes equestrian features like a carriage house and horse facility with five stalls and a tack room. As Jeff's real estate agent would tell Rob Report, it's exactly where you would imagine Jeff living in. Incredibly private and quiet with acres of walking paths 
paths through oak and redwood groves. It's a mindful oasis away from everything. Heavily remodeled during Jeff's stay, the main house provides a fascinating blend of original details and contemporary furnishings. For instance, there are hardwood floors, leaded windows, and high ceilings that offer exposed, unvarnished beams. Not to mention five charming semicircular fireplaces, all of them original to the property. The kitchen boasts skylights up top as well as tile and quartz finishes and an indoor-outdoor lounge with an entire wall of built-in shelving and cabinets. The master suite here features a newly add-on bathroom with heated tank floors and a sleek shower made of marble and glass. In total, there are three bedrooms and three bathrooms on the property. Out back, a red brick terrace surrounds the pool slash spa area which is overlooked and shaded by oak trees. The adjacent pool house has a bathroom and changing facilities plus a family room, office, and a sauna. The carriage house sports an attached workshop while the equestrian barn includes its very own water well, something that's extremely hard to come by in the generally dry state of California. Despite how nice this property is, Jeff and Susan only lived here for a handful of years before deciding to move out of Montecito completely. They dropped this property on the market in 2019 and eventually found a big time buyer for it, their next door neighbor, Oprah Winfrey. The media mogul shelled out $6.85 million for Jeff's former home home, which is the exact same price Jeff bought it for in the first place. According to reports, Oprah secured this property so as to extend her own massive Montecito compound. After Jeff and his wife left Montecito behind, they went on over to their longtime home in Montana. So let's check it out. It's not unusual for actors to take keepsakes from the sets they spend so much of their day to day on, like say an outfit, their character once wore, or even a cool prop. Jeff Bridges took that concept to another level. After all, he lives in a ranch home that once served as the setting for one of the most colossal box office flops of all time, Heaven's Gate. Jeff starred in this three hour epic that focuses on the Johnson County War. And at the end of shooting in the late 70s, filmmaker Michael Cimino offered this set that served as a brothel in the film to anyone in cast willing to buy it. Jeff jumped at the chance and turned it into his longtime home, now known as Hog Ranch. As it turns out, Bridges fell in love with Montana years ago when he first met his wife Susan while filming a scene at Chico Hot Springs in the mid-70s for the movie Rancho Deluxe. A few years later, he and Susan would pick up a parcel of land in Paradise Valley, a place that they've been calling home for over four decades now. While not much is known about the interior of this home, Jeff's estate is believed to be comprised of three properties, including an additional cabin and a barn that were also featured in the 1980 Western, all of which were packed up and moved to the piece of land that he and Susan owned. When asked how the place came together, Jeff explained to Holly Com. We disassembled the buildings, numbered the logs, put them all on a flatbed truck, and drove 200 miles south to mine and Susan's ranch. Since that time, we've added to the buildings a bit, but the core of the main house is built around the hog ranch. The bullet holes are still in the walls. Those bullet holes that he's referring to are set decoration from the shootout that takes place at the climax of the film, just in case you were wondering. In fact, according to Bridges, every couple of years, he and his family will even break out a copy of Heaven's Gate just to rewatch the film and enjoy seeing their ranch on screen. And while this is definitely one of the most unusual properties I've covered on this channel, if anyone was able to pull off living in something like this, it would definitely be Jeff Bridges. After all, this guy can make anything and everything look cool. All right, everyone, that's gonna bring this house tour to an end. Let me know what you thought of Jeff's homes down in the comments, as well as who we should feature next on here. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.